Hello guys, I hope you are all doing well. In this video, we are going to look at how we can read the content of a file using a C program. So let's begin. Here I had written the code to open our file that is abc.txt in the mode of reading and then to check whether the file pointer is giving null or not. So if the file pointer is not equal to null that means our file is opened and the content of the abc.txt is written here that is this is a beautiful day right okay so let's suppose that the file is opened and fp is now pointing to the first character to get the character pointed by our fp pointer variable we use the library function that is f get c and inside it we write fp okay now f get c will return us the character that is here it will return us t and then it will increment the position of our fp pointer so first of all it will return t and the fp then point to h okay so now it is returning as the t okay so i need to hold it somewhere in some variable for that i'll write here char and let's say the name is ch okay so this is our character ch okay so now i'll assign the return value to the ch variable okay and after that i'll write here printf percent c and then ch okay now in this case what will happen it will give us the output as t right now let's say i want to again print the next character that is h so i can write here ch equals to f get c and then fp and after that i'll write here printf percent c and then ch okay in this case f get c will return us now h and then after that it will point to i so here ch will have the content as h and then here it will print me h okay so this is how we can print the content of our file character by character but this is not a good approach why let's say the number of character are thousand then i have to write these lines thousand times so instead of using these we use the while loop or we can say infinite loop for infinite loop we will be using here while loop okay so i'll write here while one and then i'll write here ch is equal to f get c and then fp right and i'll write here printf percent c and then ch okay now if you see here first of all fp will be pointing to the t character right so it will return us t and it, the ch will be assigned with the character t okay then it will print us the value holded by ch that will be t okay then again the loop will run and when it is returning the value the fp pointer will now point to the next location okay so it will be pointing to this location then again it will print us it will return the currently positioned character that is h and it will increment the file pointer location so now it will point to i and it will return us h okay so ch will now be holding the value as h right and in this case right now it will print me h okay so in the output so so far it is t h similarly in the next iteration it will print i then s then space then i s a and so on it will print the whole content but here is a one ambiguity that this loop will never end now remember that whenever a file is ended a character that is this character which has the sky value of 26 is written in the file okay whenever a file content or the end in the end of the file a special character which is having the sky value of 26 and the character is this one is written to the file okay so we have to do something like that that whenever we are reaching to that particular character stop the process of reading the content and remember one more thing that when f get c read this character then it will return us e o f okay which is a macro and its full form is end of file okay so let's say there here was this character when f get c will read this character it will return me the eof okay instead of returning the same particular character 
when the f get c will read this character then instead of returning that particular character it will return as eof so remember that so now first of all we will take the input in ch like this f get c and then fp and after that we will check if ch is equal equal eof okay and if it is equal equal to eof then i will break this loop okay and if it is not equal equal to eof then i will let it run and i'll write here printf percent c and then ch right so now this is a working program to read the entire content of a file this is the body for the while or infinite loop now after that i'll write here f close fp okay close the file right and then i will close this if block right in the else part you can write printf file is not opened okay file is not opened like this okay and this will be end of our program okay but the main point is this logic so now let me wrap it again first of all there is a it is checking that whether the fp is null or not if fp is not null that means our structure address has been returned as i talked in the previous video and then fv will be pointing to the first character of the file right then we have used the infinite loop now for in the first iteration ch will be equal to f get c fp so f get c will fp will return me the first character that is t and this t will be assigned to the ch so ch will be having the t okay then it is checking if ch equal equal end of file that means that it is checking whether we had reached to the end of file or not so currently it is it will give us false so this statement will execute and it will print ch that is t okay similarly in the next iteration it will take the now the next character that is i and it will print here h then i then s and so on so this is how the flow of the program is going on okay now let's see some of the program in which we will find the number of the spaces basically these spaces how many spaces are present in a file and how many new lines or we can say how many lines does a file has and how many tab characters are present so now let's look at these programs first of all let's say that we want to count the number of spaces present in a file so here if we see this is our first space this is second third so when the number of spaces is counted the output should be 3 so the logic for that i'll be writing here okay after that now i'll write here if ch is equal equal space note that here is a space then i'll count the, our variable which is sp so i'll write here sp plus plus okay now first of all the character is read and assigned to the ch then it is compared to the end of file if it is equal to means that we had reached to the end of file then break otherwise it is comparing that if ch is equal equal space now in the first iteration this will not be equal now this character is not equal to space again it will not be equal again and again it will not be equal after some time this will be equal to the space so the value of sp will increase and it will become 1 okay then in the next iteration fp will point here then here then again in this when ch will become equal equal space then again value of sp will increase and it will become 2 okay so this is simple program that it is now counting the number of spaces okay then after that i can write here after the while loop i can write here print f percent d that sp okay to make it better you can write here the number of spaces present in this file is 3 okay so final output of sp will be 3 okay so sp will become 3 right similarly let's say that i want to count the number of line so num for number of line we will see if ch is equal equal new line character okay if this is equal equal then i will write n plus plus right so i'll make another variable for new line that is n and i'll assign it with zero okay so as soon as it will be encountering the new line character that is the new line it will be incrementing okay so here it will give me output as 3 again okay so n plus plus at the final it will give me 3 so three lines are present now one can ask that why there is no new line character present here but remember that whenever 
in the file processing if even we are not writing here anything a new character or new line character will be appended so remember that new line character will also be here okay similarly let's say that we want to calculate the number of tab character tab character are generally slash t okay no tab character is present here but for that we can simply write here if ch equal equal slash t okay and if it is then t plus plus okay and make another variable with t equals to 0 so this will calculate the number of tab character okay similarly let's say that you want to calculate number of i character or small i character then for that you can write if ch equal equal let me write it here small character small lower case i okay so as soon as ch will be equal to i it will increment the value of t so in this case first it will increment value here then here then here 3 and this 4 so t finally will be 4 so this is how we can calculate the number of particular character present in a file okay so this is the basic of how we can read a file and how we can process or extract the data from a file okay so that's all for today guys i hope you like the video if you have any doubt please comment it down thanks for watching and i have to see you in the next video